With this study, Catholics like yourself, essentially, could all be extinct by 2062. You're going to be a religious dodo, Anne. Um, I doubt it very much, but I think uh, the problem uh, is with Christians themselves. It's no good looking to the church or to the government or to anybody else. It's Christians. I mean, quite honestly, if the early Christians uh, had shown the same level of enthusiasm for getting the message out there uh, that Christians today show, we would all still be worshipping Zeus quite honestly, right. uh, Christianity would never have got off the ground. And it got off the ground because of people like St. Paul uh, and masses of early Christians who just took the message out there. Now, it's no good lamenting the fact uh, that the congregations aren't, aren't swelling um, if the Christians themselves aren't actually promulgating the gospel, which is what I actually thought we were here to do. Right, OK, so you, cool. think that, you think that people aren't making a good enough case for Christianity, because you could argue that people in other religions are doing that, aren't they? I mean, the North London Jewish community, the North Manchester Jewish community, for that matter, doesn't appear to be going away any time soon. Huge, huge, huge pockets of almost entire Muslim areas now in the United Kingdom as well. Is it just because they're more overt in their beliefs? Frankly, yes, and um, because uh, uh, they're not apologetic about their beliefs, you know, they, they, they will state uh, what they think uh, and uh, they don't apologise for it. Christians are very, very apologetic, you know, they don't stand up for what they think. They're terrified that people will think they're a bit odd or something. You know? And mm. that is what the problem is. And I don't want to hear, you know, what are the hierarchy going to do about it or what are the bishops going to do about it? What are the Christians in the pews going to do about it? OK, well, look, come on then. What really can they do? Because I think, you know, the idea now for kids, especially of wanting to go to church on a Sunday morning instead of going and playing football with their mates, it's going to be quite a hard case to make, especially to this kind of iPad, Instagram, instant, instant, instant gratification generation. Well, it isn't a hard case to make if what you are doing is getting the message through first. It's no good saying to somebody, come to church. Why, why would they want to come to church? Uh, but if you actually can get the Christian message through, um, then I, I think you've got a real chance anyway. And that's why the evangelicals are flourishing, because that's what they spend all their time yeah. doing. I, know. Yeah. I mean, they can be quite nuisances sometimes, but the, the nuisance value pays off for them. So um, I, you know, I'm, I'm a great believer that you're just active, and you take your case out there. But I would say this, uh, the post-Christian society that we're living in mm. uh, is a pretty depressing one. We have instant judgment. We have a lack of forgiveness. We have uh, the evils that are often demonstrated on social media with people piling in, trying to bully other yeah. people. All this is a result of not being able to say that, but for the grace of God, go I. No, indeed. I did. It's interesting you mentioned there about uh, the evangelicals. I know they're not evangelical particularly, but I did get mormon once on the tube. And I did think initially it was an advert for the Book of Mormon on the West End. And it turned out it wasn't. Before I knew it, I'd nearly signed up to any religion. But uh, anyway, <laughs> um, I mean, look, make the case for Christianity then. Why does it matter if Christianity in this country really dies out, I suppose? Come on, what is that case? Well, I think I've already demonstrated to you some of the results of it dying out and the absence of yeah. forgiveness, I think, is, is, is the, the, the most horrendous of all. Uh, and now the view is, no, you know, nobody can be redeemed. Everybody's beyond redemption. The Christian message is one of redemption. It's redemption through Christ. Uh, and so I think that that is a message we need to hear. But you leave it to the average Christian and okay. you won't hear it at all. I wonder a bit, Anne, whether or not... People almost want Christianity to die out. We do seem to be having a massive, never-ending push for things like diversity. It's bracketed often in the context of tolerance and inclusivity. But sometimes I look at it and I think it just means that quite literally the changing face and changing religion of Britain. Do you think there's a, there's a bit of a plan at play here? Well, I think there's no doubt at all that when people talk about diversity, they don't include Christianity in that. No. Uh, because if, if you express Christian views at work, you know, you're told you've offended people and all the rest of it. So Christians obviously aren't part of diversity. Uh, and I mean, I've noticed that for a long time to come. But again, you know, it's down to us. It's down to Christians to be heard and to make the case. Uh, and if they don't, then, you know, they will they will die out and they will deserve to. But fortunately, there are plenty of other countries in the world in which Christianity is growing. We shouldn't forget that.
Can I ask how God has helped you, how the Christian God has helped you? Oh, well, let me just first of all say it's not only about getting help from God. Of course, I do regularly oh, every day. But that's not what it's just about. It's also we have a, a mission on this earth, if you like, to spread the word. Uh, and Christianity can be very demanding. So I don't just want to uh, suggest that it's merely a, a, a crutch that you can prop up on. Uh, but um, if you are a believer, uh, you're never alone. You're never, ever alone. 